There we are. Good morning, Double R Radio. Where we at Thursday morning, day, 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 8.51, getting ready to go live here as they're right now playing on the radio station. I'm your puppet, Sunny Ozuna, Ruben Ramos. Uh, we got about 20 seconds here before we go live. I think we'll be good. Oh, here and there. There we go. I don't know why this isn't working, but we're going to try this anyways. There we go. I think we got everything there. I think we're situated. There we go. Hey, good morning, John. I got out to Mr. Pepe Marquez. Just played one of your songs, amigo. Tita. Just finished playing it. There we go. Santa Barbara, California. Good morning, amigo. Let's go live. Let's see. Where am I at? Yeah, I think it's time to go live. Let me get some cafecito here. We'll be good to go. Good stuff. <clears throat> There we go. Good morning, Double R Radio, Thursday morning. Sunny Ozuna, Ruben Ramos, two Grammy Award winners. I'm your puppet. I don't know who wrote that song, but I want to talk to him. You know what I mean? Jay Govron, trying to give women ideas, right? I don't think I've ever had a woman tell me, Robert, you're going to be my puppet. I don't think so. That ain't going to happen. And then I'll quit taking her to Jack in the Box. That's right. <laughs> You're probably going, what's up with that Jack in the Box deal, Robert? Yeah, I love Jack in the Box. Jack in the Box always brings back a whole lot of old school memories. When I used to go to the Jack in the Box out there in Universal City, right side of San Antonio, man. That was our hangout Friday, Saturday nights, man. After we've been drinking, putting down some quarts of beer. Do y'all remember, at least for the guys, do y'all remember when... I mean, I was never uh, buy a quart of beer and hang out with the boys. That was never one of them. But I used to have buddies that would buy quarts of beer. That was like the old school thing, a quart of beer. There we go. Um, I used to know a buddy that's all he had, quarts of beer. Now all he's got is quarts of milk. <laughs> I guess that's, uh, that comes with age. Anyways, there we are. Good morning. Where are we at? April the 1st, 2021. April Fool's Day. I don't play the April Fool's Day kind of a thing. That that's I don't know, man. I, that's just not me. I just don't. I don't play that. I really, really don't. It's okay, I guess. I mean, don't. I mean, I hate to sound like if I'm a wet mop or something. No personality, no sense of humor. But I don't know. I don't do the uh, April Fool's Day kind of a thing. Anyways, good morning, Jada. Good morning, of course, Santa Barbara, California, Mr. Pepe Marquez. Good morning, brother. Also, Leroy Lou Johnson. Good morning, Roberto from Southern Colorado. It never rains in Southern California. No, that's Southern California. That's Southern Colorado. There we go. I got that. Anyways, um, where are we at? What am I doing? Let me see here. I got some things here for you. Let's, uh, we'll go here. You know, I stumbled across a couple of stories, man, that just, so <laughs> I don't know where they came out with stuff, stuff like this, but I need to talk about this one here. Uh, where are we at? There we go. There we go. That's the one I want to talk about right there. Check this out. A Florida woman was arrested for having sex outside a hospital wearing a mask in a... What? Let me backtrack here. A Florida woman was arrested for sex outside of a hospital wears mask in the mugshot. Huh. Anyways, there we go. A Florida woman who was busted for having sex outside a hospital was pictured wearing a surgical mask in her mugshot. Um, anyways, the 45-year woman was arrested earlier this month and charged with misdemeanor of trespassing and exposure of sexual organs. I never heard it put that way. Exposure of sexual organs. Huh, okay. <laughs> I mean, who comes up with this, man? Who says, hey, man, you want to have uh, sex? Okay, let's go to the hospital parking lot. We'll take care of business there. Are you serious? Anyways, so both, uh, the, well, both people were arrested, and there you go, for having sex in a hospital parking lot. Huh. Anyways, let's see here. What else do we have? Uh, na, 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 na. Um, here's another one. Here we go. A man in Colorado. There we go. Was arrested after he broke into a bank. Actually, he robbed a bank. Right? Robbed a bank. And when he took off running with the money, you know, the bag is running. His pants fell down. He tripped over his pants. Cop showed up. And there you go. I mean, pull up your pants. You know, to each his own, man. Call me old school, but I don't know. I've, I've seen people out there, the kids, teenagers, maybe a little bit older, and they wear their pants right above their naga, right above the naga. And I, I, and I don't even know how those pants stay up. And I just think to myself, man. 
I, I don't, it, I mean, ladies, is this something that turns y'all on where guys are wearing pants right above their naga? I mean, I, I, I don't get it. I don't, but obviously, if this has been going on for quite a while, uh, to each his own, I don't think I can do that. I don't think I can try to put on my pants and put them right above my naga. I don't think I'm going to do that. Not going to happen. Anyways, let me see here. Where am I at? What am I doing? Why did I do it? Uh, anyways, good morning, John. I got the Double R Radio sponsor, Cindy Martinez Hernandez, San Antonio, Texas. Double R Radio sponsor, Cynthia Gonzalez Ramirez, Houston, Texas. Good morning, good morning, ladies. Anyways, let's see here. What else do I got? I know I got some things here. Uh, no, nope, don't want to go there. We're going to click right here. Uh, we'll go right here. I uh, don't want to go there. We'll go ahead and get rid of that. And we'll go right here. There we go. Uh, by the way, the Valero Texas Open golf is uh, happening this weekend here in San Antonio. And, uh, well, um, I had planned on going out there possibly with my son, if not today, tomorrow. I'm just kind of waiting for him to reply because my son's birthday is coming up. And, of course, i got to take care of my son. You know, love my kids with all my heart, and it's his birthday coming up, and, well, let's see what happens. I, I really don't know. Anyway, you know, it also, I forget that the, that Easter is this Sunday, Easter Sunday, and to me, um, I don't know, just uh, to me, it's kind of like, I understand it's Easter, cascarones, bunnies, you know, the Easter, but I, I get it. I understand. I've been through there, been there, done that, you know, but when your kids are all grown up, then you got your your grandbabies and then to get the grandbabies and uh but i don't know i just um i don't know i just <laughs> uh that's uh really not a big thing for me you know it really really is and not anymore i guess uh you know i was talking about this the other day where uh i went to mcdonald's and um i had i hadn't had chicken mcnuggets in 50 years and i'm only 40. i hadn't had your what Okay, okay, you, you know what I'm talking about. Well, anyways, I had chicken McNuggets. I had a baby pack, four little baby chicken McNuggets, and it comes with one little dipping sauce. And I got to tell you, man, they're very, very good, but they don't fill you up. Four little nuggets, ni pa la muela, as they say. I just, I don't know, man, uh, those chicken nuggets, they just, they don't do anything for me. Actually, I do like their dipping sauce. The other day, I went through the drive through at McDonald's, and the girl goes, can I take your order? And I go, ah, uh, ma'am, ma'am. I only want dipping sauce. You don't want no nuggets? No, no. I only want the dipping sauce. Um, and those are free, right? If you buy nuggets, uh, then I try to change it. Um, um, I was here about an hour ago, and I got nuggets, but y'all forgot my dipping sauce. And then the girl, you're a liar. Uh, well, yeah, yeah, I get, you forced me to lie. I wanted some free dipping sauce. You didn't want to play the game, so now you're calling me a liar, but hey, man, I want some dipping sauce. Get out of here! So I, I got out of there, there you go. I tried getting some dipping sauce. By the way, I've been noticing, too, that some of these fast food restaurants here in San Antonio, like, we'll go with Bill Miller's for right now. Bill Miller's, who they've had their dining room closed since the covid are opened up again. Now they're taking people at Bill Miller's. People are eating inside of Bill Miller's barbecue. Good morning, John. I got out the Double R Radio sponsor, Deborah Camarillo, and uh, I'm California, right now in California. It is 7 o'clock por la mañana. Good morning, amiga. Also, good morning, John. I got out the Sylvia Solis. Good morning. Uh, let me see, where am I at? How much time do I got? Do we get some time here? I got a little bit of time. You know, I also totally forgot that um, yesterday was the anniversary of the death of Selena. I think it's here, 95, 2005, 2015. I think it's a 20, 95, 2005, 2015, uh, 2020. I think it's a 26th anniversary, if I got it right. I could be wrong there, 25, 26, of the death of Selena. Just totally passed me by, and I happened to stumble across a video on YouTube where it just came out a couple of weeks ago where they do some inside interviews to all the cast that was part of the Selena movie. It is amazing. It really, really is. If you get a chance, check it out on YouTube. It's uh, kind of like behind the scenes of the making of the movie Selena. It's unreal, man. The anniversary of the death of Selena. Just simply unreal. I am having coffee right now. I call it leftover coffee. Let me tell you why. Uh, I have several bags of coffee, different flavors, but I decided to finish off 
a small little bag that I got left, small little portion. It's Christmas coffee uh, that was bought during Christmas time, but I still had some. I said, I might as well go ahead and finish off this Christmas coffee. <laughs> right? Right? I almost decided to play a Christmas song, get into the Christmas spirit, but I can't do that. Not going to happen. You know, by the way, um, I subscribe to Hulu. You know, Hulu, and, uh, well, um, it's been kicking ass for me. It's a little pricey, but it's been kicking ass for me. But I started adding them up, and I said, how much Hulu do I actually watch? How many channels do I actually watch? Do I really want to keep on paying for Hulu when I got all these other options now? And um, I've got two more weeks to figure out if I'm going to keep my Hulu and keep the bill that I'm paying or just cancel Hulu, and that's a big decision for me. It really is. I mean, I couldn't get over. I remember I had Time Warner Cable, then Spectrum. I have had cable TV since I was like 17 years old till about five years ago. I said enough is enough because Spectrum, I mean, they can be very, very expensive. You know, they throw in HBO and Showtime and Cinemax and all these other movie channels, but how many movies can you watch at one time, really? So I got rid of Spectrum, got Hulu, and now I am contemplating getting rid of Hulu. So good, as long as I mean, they're always taking my money. <laughs> and one more thing here is that um, one thing I got to quit doing is when I'm doing the morning show, I start doing other stuff on the computer while I'm doing the morning show. And one thing I'm going to quit doing is paying my bills while I'm doing the morning show because I can start off all pumped up and happy and then hey, good morning, everybody. Bye, 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 bye. And after I pay two or three bills, uh, you know, nobody feels good after paying bills. Nobody, man, <laughs> taking my money, man. I got no money to go to Jack in the Box. What am I going to do? So uh, trust me in this. If ever you're in a good mood and you don't want to get in a bad mood or a sad mood, don't pay your bills. Pay your bills before and then wait an hour. Then you start feeling better because on my end, I can't pay bills. I'm not going to do it. Not going to pay bills anymore while doing the morning show. But again, then I get all sad, and then uh, sometimes when I'm paying bills, I start laying some cuss words into them. You know, cabrones, grand, and the way I'm paying, okay, pay now, pay now, just cabrones. So, you know, sometimes, you know, I just, I don't want to be that way no more. I want to be Mr. Nice Guy in the morning show. <laughs> Not all pissed off. Not all bent out of shape, right? Anyway, speaking of... Uh, the anniversary of Selena's death. Hey, man, I can't think of a better time than right now to play a classic Selena song. Good morning. Thanks for waking up with me. Double R Radio. How we doing, everybody? Thursday morning it is. Stretch run towards the weekend, right? The weekend's right around the corner. It is April Fool's Day, so if you decide to pull an April Fool's prank, be careful in what you do, man, because, you know, some people can be very, very sensitive out there, even more so with COVID. Let's get back to the morning show. Robert Reeves, Radio.com, simple. Roberto Rivas, Radio.com. Join me now.